do not know everyone. We are lucky to have so many different species of turtles living here in our beautiful Rondo Provincial Park. From our cute little map turtles, to our wise old snapping turtles, every species of turtle that we have here is unique in their own way, including our spiny softshell turtles. Spinies are amazing creatures. They are known for their very long necks and tubular noses. They are Ontario's only turtle that has a soft, flexible, leathery carapace, which is the shell piece that sits on top of them, and are the only species in the province that can be compared to that of a snapping turtle in terms of their size. Many people who I have talked to didn't even know that we had turtles that looked like this here. Both their carapace and plastron, known as their top and bottom shell, lack scoops, which differentiates them from many other turtles as well. The name spiny refers to the short, often inconspicuous spines at the front of the carapace. In Rondeau, you'll find spiny softshell turtles living mostly along the bottom of Rondeau Bay, but they can also be found on the lakeside too. They prefer a sand or mud bottom because softshells like to spend much of their time buried in soft sand when they are not basking or looking for food. This species of turtle hardly ever leaves the vicinity of water, and they even choose their nesting sites as close to the water's edge as possible. Because they like to spend a great majority of their time buried in the sand, they are very hard to spot, and you can consider yourself quite lucky if you see one of these guys in the wild. With the help of their webbed feet, this species of turtle swims at impressive speeds, oftentimes faster than most fish. Spiny softshell turtles are mostly carnivorous, with a preference for crayfish, aquatic insects, and other invertebrates. They will eat small fish and tadpoles, but will rarely eat plants or seeds. At the visitor center, we often feed our spiny softshell turtle tilapia, shrimp, or salmon. Eastern spiny softshells mate in April or May, and most females lay their eggs in June or early July. A nest of eggs can also be known as a clutch. A softshell can lay between 9 to 38 eggs in one clutch, and their eggs are typically round, with a hard shell. Larger females have a tendency to lay larger clutches. As I said before, spinies do not particularly like leaving the water, so they do lay as close to the water as they can. Nesting is frequently a hurried process, with the female choosing a nest site, digging the hole with her back feet, laying her clutch, and covering the eggs back up within an hour or less. Here at the Visitor Center, we have a great turtle research program that consists of the digging up of turtle nests, incubating them until the eggs hatch, and then releasing them back into the wild. Unfortunately, we have an extremely high predation rate here in Rondo, but our turtle team and the research they do does wonders in helping out the turtles that we have here, which includes our beloved spiny softshell turtle. Typically, the turtle eggs will begin hatching starting mid-August and into September. Another distinguishing feature about this species is that unlike any of the other turtles that we have here in Rondo, their sex is genetically determined, with most clutches producing both males and females in roughly equal numbers. All turtle species here in Rondo, except for the painted turtles, are a species at risk. So what can you do to help turtles like the spiny softshell? Helping them cross the road in the direction that they are going can really help them during nesting season. Also, be aware of any turtles around you when boating. And call the visitor center to report any sightings that you see around Rondo. Another way you can conserve this amazing reptile is by volunteering with the turtle research team. So call the visitor center if you are interested. Get passionate, get involved, and enjoy the spiny softshell turtle for a minute longer next time you see